corporal punishment in school. Teachers are permitted to hit their students. Like bruising and broken blood vessels after being paddled in school. The school of the state, the right to spank your kids. I, that is a parental... Over 200... 200,000... The United States are hit by their educators every year. Where would you draw the line? Right there on the air. You, and you feel all their pain. You don't want to feel all of that pain compacted into one hit. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Parents want you to feel all the pain. <laughs> Bet you pull up your pants now, you little bad mother... Supporters argue its roots go back to biblical times. He comes by and see, to see us every week to thank us for what we did for him. That's only one situation. I'm not saying it works for everybody. Oh, I'm in favor of it. Yeah. Bring ass weapons back to school. Bring that shit back. Yeah. I bet you pull up your motherfucking pants then, won't you? Bad ass. All this talking back and shit, all this rigmarole. Who you talking to? Parents, we, we can't be y'all soft and shit these days. Hey, here one dude talking about, uh, man, these new, the new millennial, they ain't scared of nothing. That's cause you ain't put fear in their ass. You got to put that goddamn fear. You hear how I said it? Fear in their ass. Why all this robbery and shit going on, shooting in the schools and shit, beating up the teachers and shit. Man, I wish a mother gotta put that. I'm, I'm ready to take my damn belt off. Right, that's all my grand. This is my granddaddy's favorite shit right here. Who you? What? Who are you talking to? That's my granddaddy's favorite shit right here. My grandma, I knock your damn head off. She was in the cafeteria saying that. I walked through the cafeteria line in the fifth grade. She she fixed some food and she said, boy, I knock your damn head off. My grandma was the cafeteria lady. Man. Don't you talk back to me. That was a favorite, famous word right there when I was going, who are you talking back to? I knock your damn head off. Hey, kids, I ain't, I ain't trying to be your friend first. I'm, I'm daddy first. All my kids know I'm daddy first. I ain't your damn friend. I'm your friend last. Our religion drives just about everything we do in our state. Of course, I believe in the Bible, and I believe in God's word. It says if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. Okay, well, what are we going to do? You know, time out doesn't mean a thing.